so this year is going awesome uh, hama just two more student cleared exam just right now sir naya cleared and uh, also anthony cleared but the most important thing that i wanted to share for more than a week hamad cleared pmp with all above target in he joined basically my one to one mentor program and last night he got his detailed report of people process and business environment and i was extremely glad to see how well he has done in each domain this made us proud that uh, we are doing something really good but the most important thing i want to share is the sheer hard work that these guys are putting the sheer hard work that hamad has put uh, in spite of the all the time that he is working and although we agreed that on weekends we will be free but hamad you were not you were not free hamad is a very high profile a business professional and he can share about himself more in detail hamad you have seen the journeys so share your journey in any way like please ji thank you very much amir so basically i came to know about you through one one of my ex colleagues so pmp was something which i wanted to do for for a long time since like even one of my friend did it in 2015 and he gave me one of his book after clearing pmp so i had that book with me but i was never able to actually uh, do the the actual certification uh but due to certain job requirements i had to do it uh in 2021 so i came across your name and it was uh, told to me that your uh teaching without methodology is such that it's, uh, it's the success rate is very good and that is what i wanted and uh, the the initial uh discussion which i had with you was also very good because uh, i i i saw the energy in you that you were very much passionate about uh what you were uh trying to teach or what you were trying to do and uh, obviously i had i had that target in my mind as well so we started i believe in um, start of october and uh, since i was uh, obviously working so i mean uh, the, the time during the week was very much difficult uh, but on the weekends i was trying to put as much effort as possible so initially we went through all the all the topics 13 topics with uh with the way you do you send sent out the videos and uh the ppts along with then 50 questions for each topic so yeah that was that was a good thing initially it 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 was initially a bit difficult to create the tempo but uh, then uh with as soon as uh, actually you go through four five topics you start understanding the mechanism of the of uh, the pmi teachings or the course content so it it builds your confidence as well and after that obviously it took me about i believe uh 20 25 days to actually go through all the contents and then we uh, did some flash cards uh, that was another thing which you shared and after that uh, there was a complete uh, uh perhaps mock uh, sessions that uh, i had to go through so yeah the mocks were initially challenging because uh, the 4 hour exam is something uh if one is not used to is a bit difficult initially but uh, after one or two mocks uh, the, the the understanding was there i was aware that how to time myself how how what would be the methodology of in fact uh, uh, the questions that will be asked during during the paper and what type of questions would be asked specifically the way you actually uh, thought that one has to go through the last line and then see the answers first and then go through the whole question so that was an, another tip which helped me a lot to understand all those questions while i was answering uh so that's that's that was very helpful as well and uh, perhaps uh, after going through mocks and all those things uh i believe that uh, it was uh, quite uh, easy at the end that uh, i was i mean confident that okay definitely it will go at least i'll be able to clear if things went right the, specifically the the last uh, day call as well and you said that 
one has to be prepared, one has to go a bit early and uh, uh, after having a discussion with you, or perhaps I saw one of your call, I actually visited the testing center one day earlier as well, just to see the location, just to see where, where it is, how to park my car, like car would be staying there for four or five hours. So I had to make sure since I'm in Karachi. So obviously there are there has to be these kind of logistical management that one has to do. Uh, so yeah, uh, so overall uh, on the test day, uh, things went smoothly. I actually uh, uh, reached there in time. I was uh, well slept as well. That was another uh, tip that you gave that one has to actually uh, get a good night's sleep before before the final paper. And uh, then uh, during the paper, obviously, the, the timing methodology that you mentioned that one has to keep this, the time check for like first 60 questions, it should not be more than 80 minutes. And then for the next uh, 60, like 75 and uh, accordingly. So the initial was uh, perhaps I did manage my first 60 and 75 minutes, something like that. So overall, uh, I completed my, and I took the breaks as well. So that was another thing which you said that take your breaks, take deep breaths, all those all those tips that you gave, I actually applied them during the paper as well. So that was, I think, very, very much helpful uh, because these are the things that matter because ultimately if you have worked hard, if you have put in, put in your effort, most of the things you are aware of, but if you are uh, not in your comfort zone, uh, while you're giving the test, then you can make silly mistakes. So the good thing was that uh, those mistakes were avoided because of these steps and methodologies that you actually uh, inculcated during your training regime as well. So that's the overall thing. I think uh, I, I really like the way you actually taught me throughout this whole uh, process of two, two months approximately although I was just putting my time maximum during the weekends, but still uh, the whole, and the, the, the last and most important thing was perhaps uh, uh, the motivation, in fact, the, that you kept on giving me that you have to do this, you have to come back, and I'm still waiting for your feedback. And all those things that you mentioned were definitely something which was driving me a lot because obviously I had to do it, but... Uh, the way you were motivating throughout this process was also an important thing uh, that made me do it in time. And perhaps it was the best time because obviously it had an impact on what I was doing in my practical life as well. So, yeah, thanks to you thanks for this whole uh, uh, effort that was put in. And uh, definitely it was, uh, it was a journey worth doing. Thank you for saying that. I really love the way how you explained it like a great professional going through the entire journey one by one moving through all those things so Hamad, let's let's discuss these things in a little bit more context you took two months because you were only able to give uh, time on weekend and not actually all the weekends some of the mm -hmm. weekends were very busy so let's talk a little bit more about how did you manage time in the exam that's an important and a crucial factor that plays in uh, when you are doing the exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think time was like, uh, obviously the content or the questions were not extremely lengthy. Uh, it was like, uh, I mean, the question, length of the question was medium, not uh, very short, but not very long as well. And uh, that, that thing I had in my mind that I have to actually uh, keep a check on the clock uh, and uh, Obviously, the target was there that in maximum the first 60 questions need to go need to be completed in 80 minutes. And uh, the other important thing was that before the test, uh, we had these uh, prep cast uh, questions in which you actually gave me that like one has to do 60 questions in specific time periods. So I did, I believe, three four times uh, different sets of 60 questions. So that 60, 60 sets were something that was present in my mind as well that, okay, that's the thing, that's the set I have to target. And in that way, I actually managed those 60 questions because uh, there are times, obviously, once you land into a test, which is easier sometimes in a, in a four hours test, if, it, if the difficulty level is not high, maybe you are able to finish it in three, uh, three, three hours or three hours, three minutes. 
but there are obviously types of tests which i've seen that sometimes if it if its difficulty level is comparatively tougher then you actually uh, very are, is very you are very close to your time limitation so yeah i think overall it was important to do the mocks it was very important to do it as per the time and the final stretch or the before before the paper the 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 60 hour stints uh, 60 question stints in fact uh, that was done was really helpful because they were different like different domain questions they were like people question then process question then again people process so ultimately that prepared me a lot to manage all the time and obviously be uh, able to do these things in 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 the allocated time obviously i was not so quick there were few examples that you quoted that people were able to finish their test quite early and they were able to actually uh, go through their marked questions as well later on that was not something which happened with me uh, i was almost uh, i mean at at the clock but thankfully i was like managing things in time so ultimately there was no panic situation for, for me at all so uh, it was not supposed to be panic you were such good prepared so i never expected that uh, you would get uh, any kind of panic because after su such a long preparation getting panic is not an interesting thing i wouldn't say mm -hmm. that there was any okay so let's talk a little bit about the exam hamad which uh, to which area the exam was more related to us i think uh, last night all that you did you said that one has to focus on two important things uh, one is like servant leadership and uh, that would be people a domain and the other would be agile so i think these were the things even in i actually uh, focused on first 100 questions and saw that at the end of every question it was just as a project manager what you will be doing and it was primarily things related to team primarily things related to uh, leadership styles all those things so it was not like uh, very much focused to any kind of process that uh, one has to see that what would be the sequence of uh, different things that one has to do so yeah i think it was more um, kind of agile hybrid kind of thing and people centric questions so ultimately this was what you actually told me during the preparations as well so that helped a lot definitely it helped a lot because uh, like honestly speaking one ha one can go through books but uh, uh, while working with you i realized that these changes or these small tips that you were giving me throughout the process were the ones that actually ace the test so that that was the value addition you did and thankfully it it really worked a lot because ultimately the content was already there in the book but how you actually see the content or how your mentor or coach actually tells you to uh, understand that content and the value that is that the most important thing for me so definitely that that made me uh, think the things is okay hamad now now that this thing falls on you i always say each one teach one mm -hmm. each one each one now uh, you work in a great organization we have P multiple pmp aspirants so i many people will be looking towards you and i'm sure when you put it on linkedin and all other mediums people must be talking to you so your it is it becomes more of a responsibility uh, at your instance that you must guide them and uh, become maybe their mentor coach with the time i understand the complexity of time with you how you have to manage all those thing as jeff bezos said there is no life uh, work life balance it's more of a circle so mm -hmm. uh, and i really love that concept of a circle that when you are where you are or give your 100% so i hope who you will be the one leading like many of my certified pmp like ubaid did for you like harun did you because even uh, bit by bit bit by bit a little bit thing can help other people to understand many multiple things
Absolutely, absolutely. You're you're very right, and this was the first thing which I actually communicated uh, with the team with which I'm working in my company. That uh, that's something which I'm willing to help them acquire, and I hope that uh, the people who are in my contact and who come across me are willing to do this thing. Definitely, I'll be, I'll be happy. Uh, telling them that yeah, this is something that is achievable and it's quite uh, helpful as well for your career because ultimately there was some like I would like to add like you always used to mention that time boxing aspect that really helped me a lot because uh, like I actually I'm, I'm used to doing things in a thorough manner so but yeah one can never go one should never go to gold plating because ultimately. There is no end to any any uh, thing that can be made better and better. So yeah, these are the small things that actually I learned during the process. Uh, so definitely time management and all those aspects that is part of EMP uh, and the way you teach as well. So all all those things were a good part uh, of the process that I went through, and these were the these were the things that I take take my take with myself. And definitely, I'll try to teach the same thing to the people whom whom I come across. Thank you very much, and I really love the way how you put it, Hamad. Uh, thank you very much for your time, for giving time and sharing all this That's information. Right. I <laughs> wish you best of luck for your future endeavors. And as I was, we were talking like we talked for ten minutes before going live. At any time, if you need any help, you know how to contact. You know my number. So <laughs> thank you very much. Bye bye. Best okay. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Take care.